What is up you guys? I am here with my boy MJ at the one and only Canova Reptiles, AKA JKR. New name, new brand, awesome stuff. Can't wait to show you guys everything inside. Let's check it out. Okay, this produces everything we need. About half the year produces significantly more than we need, and then we uh, we just sell the extras to one guy just wholesale and screw it. And then, but we, we have that extra production just so that in, um, in like the lean times, when like production's high over there, lots of mouths to feed, that we never run out. Right. Yeah, you need the rat terrier, for sure. <laughs> it'll sa it'll save you so much money in loose rats and leaks and pain and suffering to have a to have a blaze who just uh, takes care of the, uh, the escapees. It's easier to sweep and mop Please. and everything in here if you're not real low. But and when the rats fall, they can't jump back up into the rack for some reason. So they get off the racks, they're on the floor for goods in, and uh, we can find any place to we so are. we're in the main breeding room, or the only breeding room actually, so this is where all the adults are. So if you look here on this outside wall, it's where all the girls, all the females. And I would say it's around 500-ish females, um, of which we make about 225 clutches a year from these girls. The males are the ones on these three racks here behind you, so we don't have nearly as many males. They are well used, and uh, of course we always want to use the highest and the coolest stuff. So yeah, we're always doing something. The vast majority of our clutches hatch seasonally still, but we always have something hatching every month of the year. So this wall, all the way down through this whole room, is all future breeders. Things that will be you know, next year, two years, or the other sizes, and all those all 
rolls through here. And uh, so, so yeah, a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of future. So that, this is all cooler than that. And then the patches are cooler than this, like always progressing upwards. A few 2020, few 2020s, mostly 2021s. And then these are the more recent hatchlings here behind you. These are all the ones that are just, they haven't really outgrown their hatchling tubs yet on this side over here. Um, all the purples are the higher end possible holdbacks. And then, uh, it's where we sell most of the out of this one. all together, how many clutches did you hit in 2021? We had a little bit of slim here. I think we had had around 211 versus our 225, like which is our average. Um, so we had just about 15 clutches less than normal. So we got the Xanthic clown and then the Xanthic DG clown side by side. You see the difference between them. How long were you working on this? So it's not been that long for me. It's been about four years. Okay. Um, Look at that other thing, projects, bro. It's short. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a girl, unfortunately. <laughs> you can't complain when you get it. That's crazy. So, I mean, why would you say unfortunately, just out of curiosity? Well, everybody you, would want a girl. Well, a girl, I mean, I'm not disappointed to have a girl, but, but in general, if a male bred to the females that, that made her would just give me much better odds much faster. You right. know, so, I mean. Help you on the number side. Right, she'll be great. In three years, I'm not gonna be complaining at all when she's up to size, but in the meantime, it'd be hard to hit another one in the short term because, uh, because she's a girl, so. Because a male, you could plug him to three or four girls. Right, And then exactly. make a lot more. So yeah, initially you're like, ah, I wish she was a girl, but then over time it doesn't really matter. It's, you know, after three years you're happy for what you got. That's my, that's my but most favorite ball python. That did, yeah. The so DG with the exact, it did exactly what I was hoping it would do. Right. With it. So the crazy thing is, is that the odds were one in 16 for this. It's a, it's a one in 64 snake if you do triple head to triple head. But I did clown double head to clown double head. So that makes automatically see how they're all clowns. Um, and so my odds are one in 16 to get a DG Xanthic, and they're all gonna be clowns. Um, so it took, I had two clutches, 15 eggs, and I finally got it. It's one in 16 out of 15 eggs. What do you know? Yeah. So you'll be obviously wanting to shoot for this again, but you're looking to hopefully get a male, right? We have two clutches coming still. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. The same the same chance we had to make her, we have that chance again within the next 60 days. Right. So really excited, yeah. This, I believe, <laughs> is, is Super GHI Spot Nose Yellow Belly Clown. That's crazy. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Isn't that wild though? I bet the, the, the pixelation on like the side of it and everything. Yeah, the reds and, and, and it, it almost looks kind of exanthic. It takes a lot of the color out of it. There's one more here, it's a little bit more in shed, but we had two of them that are very, very, very similar. Wow. Yeah. So it's safe to say Super GHI and Clown go very well together. Yes, it's been years now I've been trying to like get the Supers and right. it's coming It's coming together, I really love it. Yeah, it's crazy. Could be, I think it's Super Enchi, OD, Leopard, Red Stripe. I don't know if it's Red Stripe, could be Yellow Belly. It's got, we've got way too much stuff in this stuff, you know? Um, we just wait and find out. But double head DG clown. Double head DG clown, yeah, yeah. Heavy. So. And this one's crypt Krypton. See that face on it. Wow. That, that is nuts. So this is triple head crypt um, cryptic DG clown. That's what that is. Yeah. yeah, so I think this is like just blackhead Mojave. Um, it's their head pied and 50% head ultra mount. the striping they have on them. Yeah, on the sides and the back. It's like, it's like a layered cake. It's just blackhead. Is there 100% head pied in ultramel you said? 50% head ultramel. Oh, yeah. So this one I think is, yeah, this is leopard blackhead. Nice. Head pied, boss head ultramel. So, I was trying to get super blackhead pies. I didn't hit it on any pies. Isn't that wild? Look at that orange. So, black pastel, red stripe, yellow belly, DG clown. <laughs> That's unreal. Isn't that wild? What the? F Why aren't you wearing a lab coat right now? Where's your. Should be, huh? <laughs> 
Let's get a little warm for that. Yeah. Little Billy DG clam. Yeah. That clean, Sporting yellow, sharp just back. a different look, yeah. DG clam. The spot in this gives you all that beautiful black contrast, Jeez. which is what we're trying, you know, we're really trying to go with all this. It's like a marker on it almost. It's so sharp. Right. Can you say the G's one more time? So fire spot nose DG clown. Just with that zigzag contrast on the back. That, I am so proud of how this turned out. It's wild. Yeah, you cameras don't do it. You no, know, it like, doesn't at all. Because you look that, at the oh, camera right uh, here and then in person in your eye, it's so much it's brighter. It's such a different shade of red than we've seen. What's the, uh, what's the... This is Cypress ID? Special Yellow Belly Clown. Cypress Special Yellow Belly Clown. You think Sunset Damn. would make that redder? I don't know. Sometimes you get better by stacking, you know, like with like, and yeah. sometimes you end up with an effect that, where one, like, covers up the other one. Yeah. So you never really know. Certainly would be love to try it. Do it done a little bit different way. See, it looks like a cracking kind of, but yeah, not the same yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's like more... More soft. Yeah. It doesn't have those big black spots. Oh, oh. Isn't that cool? So I love the light head and the black eyes, though. Right. This is GHI. Let me get this right here. <laughs> <laughs> GHI, red stripe, yellow belly, black pastel. Clown. Yeah. Um, that I want so see. Wookie and chocolate never been combined, but this is the first oh my God, oh, super form of Wookie and chocolate in one snake. So I still think that Wookie and chocolate are they're allylic, they're slightly different from each other, but that project in the clown has been one of the most just valuable and, and just giving us so many brand new awesome combos. Um, this is the first Wookie and chocolate clown together, so this is an allylic combo. We'll show you a super chocolate clown too, just show you the difference, but. This uh, this really shows, I see this and I think this is just full of potential because I want to make a monarch version of this, a desert ghost version, an exanthic. Can you imagine a pure black and white version of this with like DG and exanthic? It would be oh sick. God, that so take that one fun. you just made and right, put that. Right, that fade with this cut with a pattern and everything, yeah. So my goal is just make it most like mel melted chocolate if we can. So this is, that's the super chocolate clown. Even in shit, it's still like gorgeous. Yeah, it's still amazing. But can you imagine this with Monarch with those bright, like, um, deep burgundy colors um, instead of the instead of the browns? It'd be amazing. Uh, this is the Trojan Trick Hypo Desert Ghost. Oh and it's like a translucent snake. Trojan is like a, is an incomplete dominant, um, but it has this really awesome orange to it, and it, the main thing about it gets way better with age. We'll show you a single gene Trojan. They just look amazing with age. Recessive? And, uh, it's, it's incomplete dominant, so oh, it, wow. yeah, it's, it's uh, much easier to make that way. So this is a double recessive with Trojan and Trick, two, two complete dominant genes. So if you put DG with Trojan, it's just going to get even better right. as it gets older. Exactly. I love how orange the head is on that thing. Yeah. So it's the Trojan that's making it this orange? So uh, and, and, and what it looks I, like an orange ghost. Right. So what I need to show you is like the I'm a fan of this thing. What we it's have that's um So this is Trojan Trick DG without hypo. Wow. Oh wow. And this is the hypo version. So yeah, the hypo makes hypo it all the difference, that right? Hypo just makes it a whole right. different snake. It makes it completely different. Really. Hypo and DG just work so well together too. They do. People don't realize it. Um, it's, it's, it's underrated. Just showing that Hypo DG how good it can be. That's adding fire just to blow it up so it's all these like blue gray. That white and yeah, the blue and the gray. Yeah. Insert, insert all the Photoshop haters right now. Yeah. They're going to think this is not real. This is crazy. What, so what's this right here, uh, Justin? So a fire Hypo DG. That's it. So what we did was we, we combined this that looks prettier with age with Desert Ghost and that snake you just saw, which looks better with age, and Hypo, which looks better with age. And so we're making basically the perfect uh, perfect storm of a snake that's gonna look better and better as it grows. You're making a snake that's basically found the fountain of youth. It kind of reminds right. me of pumpkin. I always look for things like, what's something that's really, really cool, but people don't really see it? How can we add value to it? How can we show the value over time? Here's the Trojan, just single gene. Adult wow. female.
That's a single gene Trojan. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. That thing. color. It almost looks like a almost like an Ultramel or a Monarch type look. You know, not yeah. quite as extreme. Not as extreme, but yeah. But not. It's not an Albino. It gives that vibe that. though. You can tell. Yeah. Just what it does to the pattern. Mm -hmm. I love the golden tints it has to it too. So we're going to show you Lace Clown and some of the projects. Oh boy. So that's a, a big female Lace Clown. And it's actually brighter at this age than an OD Clown is. They look really, really, really nice. But where the real value is, is in the White Lace Clown. So White Lace is the super form of the Lace. So Lace and Lace make White Lace. Yes. Oh god. my gosh. So this is the White Lace Clown. And look how beautiful and amazing that is. It's so clean. And it's a different snake. Yeah. yeah. It, now this looks, oh my in God, my mind, that. as good or better than a DG clown at the same age. I mean, and yet it's, it's, you did it with incomplete it's dominant. Without being a recessive. Right. So I'm working on putting the, making a DG version of this, right? To just oh double that effect. But check out that. Isn't that wild? Plus they have these really cool belly, awesome belly patterns on yeah. them. So su uh, super lace. Super lace. Super with lace. No clown in it. Just right. straight up. Just straight up. Wow. Look at that so thing. Look at the yeah the Check belly on the sides. Is neat. Isn't that neat those sides? Look at that. It's all pixelated. Oh, oh, oh hello, it's self. Hello. hello. Self-loathing right there. <laughs> the side of the multi-recessives is that you think like you look at these these five heads, you think, oh if I do you know five head to five heads be one and a thousand twenty-four to get the five. Not worth it, right? But what you don't realize is that every time you add a recessive, another recessive, it makes all the other ones easier. Okay? So if you do a five head to five head, your odds of making a double recessive is one in four instead of one in 16. As long as you don't specify which double recessive. The odds of making a triple head, a triple recessive is one in 16 instead of one in 64. Right? So, you see how it, so you see how it changes yeah. everything. And so it's totally worth it to go for these long, 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 long shots because the things you're gonna make on the way are way easier if it's you take it the long It's improving shots. your so odds. Right. Not yeah. to just, you ought as well go for if you're already that deep exactly. into it. Exactly. Otherwise exactly. you're just cutting yourself short and you don't know right. like the... Exactly. So all you really need, say, say I bring these together, I have a 1 in 16 shot of making a triple recessive. That's huge, right? right. Triple recessive that I get will be 66% hit for both the other genes, right? The ones I didn't hit. Right. So if I breed that back to this one, likely one of those is going to improve. And then I have like a serious, really maybe like a 1 in one in 16 shot at the quad recessive. So you see how I'm just, I'm just fixing the odds little by little, but you gotta start with something. Yeah. You gotta start with those multi-recessives. It's just a process. It's not gonna take as long as people think it will when they hear those numbers. Um, but you do have to have numbers. I think it's harder and harder to get in and make an impact now without a big investment. You know, every year I think it gets a little harder. We get further and further in and these numbers get harder and harder. It's harder for an individual without a big buy-in to make a big, a big impact. And I, I don't like that, I just said how it kind of is. Um, but I think you, you've got to work with multi-recessive girls as your initial investment is the main thing. And then let your future male buys kind of guide that ship where you want to go. But initially, just banking with those really, really high-end girls is, is such the, you know, the way to go. And not going, not, not just getting the code on flavor of the day. Like if you go out there and be like, I'm gonna buy 10 strangers because strangers are hot. That's the biggest way to work yourself right out of this industry in five years. Because that's not, they are hot and they're cool. They're cool if you have an awesome collection you want to insert them into. You do not want to base your collection on the morph, code on morph of the day that's going to be like a falling star in a few years, you know? So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not, the, not the way to do it. Nope. Who's that? The one and only MJ. Oh my God, where are we? What do you think so far? It's amazing, bro. I mean, this does not get you excited and I don't know what will in life, but this is everything that I would ever dream about having on top of snakes. This is it. All right, so a huge thank you to Justin for letting us tour this awesome facility. All the hospitality, bringing us onto this amazing property, letting us look at everything. It's, it's awesome. This is like the legit goals, guys. This is the end goal right here. This is what you can get if you just put your mind and grind and put the work in. This is the stuff. Thanks again. Can't wait to pick up some more snakes from you. Till then, take it easy, guys.